Hi all, it's about time for another video about the camper van, so I'm going to show you some modifications I'm going to make to the front passenger seat to allow it to swivel freely to face into the van. So since we built the van, we've installed a swivel seat, which allows this dual passenger seat to turn round and face into the van and create a lot more room inside. The seat has explosive tensioners on the seat belts, so this piston here, and the same on the other side, in the event of a crash, they tension the seat belts to pull you back into the seat before the airbag inflates. Those are connected through a wire, which Jonathan will show you, right here. Hi. And so before you rotate the seat, you have to first disconnect this wire, which you do by pulling up a tab, pulling the wire out, and placing it down out of the way. After that's done, it's reasonably easy to rotate the seat. So my intention today is to replace this cable with a retractable curly cable, which I bought off eBay, which should be <laughs> Jonathan, which should be able to remain attached the entire time the seat is rotated. The first step is to cut the cable. The issue is I don't know what the four internal wires do, and I really don't want to set off the tensioners. So I'm going to carefully cut off the harness wrap. Why are you talking to the camera? I'm making a video about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And then I can put it on YouTube for other people to see. Oh, I want to win the video. I like my curly cable. I think Mummy should buy me one. And I think Mummy should buy me some mine strippers. And I would like one of those swords. Chainsaws? No. Do you know? What do you want then? Um, the thing which is one of those swords. One of them. What else do you want to play with in the camper van? Um, yes, that's what that adds. Just like that there? Yes. What are you going to do with them all? Play with them. That sounds safe. Okay, so here's what was inside the harness wrap. It's a 10 contact plug, but only 4 contacts are used. The first 2 contacts go onto the pre-tensioners. I suspect they're simply something like a 12 volt power supply when the tensioners have to fire. The other two contacts, contacts number three and four, are simply shorted. I've checked that with a multimeter and there's no resistance, it's about half an ohm or less, which is really just a measurement error on my multimeter, so it's not some special high resistance wire. Now the purpose for that, I suspect, is to notify the van of whether the tensioners are plugged in or not. If you forget to plug this back in after turning the seats forward and driving, then it brings up a notification error on the dashboard and disables the airbags. Um, that's obviously not a good state of affairs, you want the airbags to be active, you want the pretensioners to be active, because airbags without pretensioners can be dangerous. If you were to replace the passenger seats with seats or single seats that didn't have a, pre a pretensioner, then you would have to short out two contacts on this harness. What I'm going to do is reuse this plug where it attaches to the seat. I'm going to leave this wire untouched and simply connect these two through the curly wire that I have. There's four cables inside it. There is an earth one which I won't use, a black one which I won't use and a brown one which I'm going to connect to purple and red from the harness and a grey one which I'll connect to white and red from the harness. I'm using a fairly long length of exposed cable because I want to do a strong long solder joint. I want these joints to have some mechanical strength so if the cable's ever tugged so it's not anchored correctly or if the anchoring comes away then it shouldn't break. I don't want the solder joint to be a weakest point in the system. These quite right. Okay, so lots of soldering iron, tin the soldering iron even, and hold the soldering iron against the wire until the wire is soft enough to take the solder directly, and then add in a lot of solder along the whole length of the wire to get the strength that I'm after. That's good, and then take the soldering iron away. Nice and hot, and solder from the other side of the wire, soak the whole way through, full length of the joint. Right, the next step at this stage is to slide down the heat shrink onto those newly made joints. Shrink those bits. If you don't have a heat gun, you can do that quite successfully with a cigarette lighter. Okay, so the process is basically now exactly the same on the other side of the wire. So I have the heat shrink already on the harness wire. Hold it against the wire till the wires are hot. And then add solder from the far side of the wire. 
I think I've got the colours the right way around, but I suppose it probably doesn't really matter because these wires carry no current or voltage most of the time. And when they fire, then all they're doing is providing a voltage for the pyrotechnic charge to fire. And so it probably doesn't actually matter which round the cables are. If I've got unused wires, they need to be insulated, but I also like to have them different lengths. If you simply cut one a significantly different length from the other, like that, then it really eliminates the risk of any shorting between those wires. in there nicely and then tighten this one up. The solder joint inside here is very stiff so that needs supported because if it bends around there then it could fatigue and crack the copper on either side of the solder joint. Okay so when this end of the cable goes into the, um, the connector up on the seat I need to make sure that this joint is well connected, well supported. So what I'm going to do is cable tie it to the frame of the seat in two places. Okay, so that's the cable installed. It's held tight at both ends. It seems to be about the right length. So I'm going to try and turn it and see what happens. Put the driver's seat, Johnny. Go on the other seat. Um, pinch the wire there, but you just have to make sure it's nice and ready to turn it. Right there, the wire got caught in here. That's it. Cable stretches nicely. It's not too tight. It sits comfortably and the seat's round. So no more faffing with plugging and unplugging every time. Back it goes. No issue at all. Yes, Johnny. Here we are. Job's good. Are we going in, Lolly? Yeah, what are we going in for? To have soup. Why are we having soup? For lunch. Lunch time? <laughs> Come on then, let's go.